morning and welcome to the fourth morning at the cabin. Now, this is Memorial Day weekend. Must be getting up to May 27th, 28th, something like that. But the important thing is it's the fourth morning. And I say that because I like to travel, I like to do trips. But I've come to realize after all the years that my trip really doesn't start until the, the fourth morning. Um, days before that, I'm getting things done, I'm kind of getting into the groove, and I'm here, but it's not really that special. But So I just call this my fourth morning, because when I wake up on about the fourth morning, I got a whole different mood. I'm really happy to be here, looking forward to getting some things done or just playing. Um, and then I know why I love it up here so much. Morning one, two, three, well, I can almost take it or leave it, but I know that that fourth morning is coming, and so that's what we've been waiting for. I want to try to get out today. They talked like it might rain last night. Well, I think I heard a little pitter-patter on the roof. Just a few sprinkles came down, so I think we're good for the day now until tonight, so things are dry. I want to get out and I want to try to get one or two more of those big tamarack trees cut down and peeled for the cabin project. Just don't want to make a huge deal out of it, but if I just do a little bit every day, I've got a lot of firewood laying around. I need to go out and cut that up, split it up. But again, a little work, a little toil, a little play. Try to make it all play that way. Well, the work really doesn't become work. It's just having fun. I got some, uh, Bonnie's been drying up these potatoes. She slices them really thin and dries them, and they make excellent fried potatoes, and I'm experimenting because I want to take them on the canoe trips this summer. So I got some. I put them in some warm water over there. I let them hydrate nice. I said, I'm going to fry up some American fries and scramble up a few eggs for breakfast here. I like to scramble my eggs and some butter. Grapeseed oil heating up for the potatoes. Now, while that heats up, my neighbors, Caleb and Carissa, they both work, but somehow they've got the time. They, they just working all the time, but they've also got a little farmstead and with horses and chickens and I don't know what all the gardens and anyway that, that's where before I go on a trip I stop down and pick up some eggs and like the eggs of all different colors. Their chickens are all different colors and they let them run around the yard in the farmstead there so they're true, you know, um, range-fed chickens. So. Probably have a little variety today, maybe have a brown, a, a white, and a green. See how that comes out. If anyone's been counting my stainless pans, you might notice a I've added a few lately. This is one of the really thick bottom stainless pans. Really nice for frying up these spuds like this. A lot of times I'm heating things up. So 
I think Ronnie found this at Goodwill or something that I can steam with that with the other pots. I gotta measure this pan though and also that steamer top because all these lids along here, this lid is right between my two bare ones. So I gotta add a little more stainless. old way for the gas stove. Coming along nicely. I don't have the wood stove going this morning, so my, my coffee's getting cold. I'm going to put a little heat under that. Not that much heat. One nice thing about having that wood stove is just you always got your water warm and ready and coffee stays hot all morning, but the temperature this morning is I didn't have a fire yesterday morning either. I had a fire the first two mornings just to take the chill off, but I think it's uh even outside it's 60 60 some degrees, very comfortable degree. Even warmer in here, so feels pretty good. The downside is it's really bringing those bugs out. You might see them flying around in here, but fortunately they don't bother me too much. Not really scrambled, but almost. Quick and easy.
breakfast is out of the way now, so I can I can show you this without spoiling my or anybody's appetite. Jim, cabin partner Jim, he's been buying a few things for the cabin lately, and this one he, he brought up last fall when he was here. Planky Pro Traps, it's called. Walk the plank mousetrap. Well, oftentimes, I mean, I know that if you use, you take a bucket with some water and you put peanut butter around the edge, you, it works as an effective mousetrap. They get up and they fall in. Well, this is just perfected out. This kit comes with a the ramp, put a little peanut butter to get them started up there. And then they get up here, and this is all adjustable as they walk the plank. When they get out here so far, it just dumps them into the water. It comes back up, waiting for the next sucker. Anyway, as I look in there, I see three gray bodies floating. So I've been hearing a little rustling in the night lately. Well, we're going to take care of that problem real quick with this Plankety Pro Walk the Plank mousetrap. Thanks, Jim. Working out good. Jim was laughing. I think he sat here in the chair at night and, and, and he watched him walk in the plank, but uh, this all happened while I slept. You've probably noticed too of this bug netting I had over my sleeping quarters back there. I've got a full enclosure that I, I put up over and it drapes all four, four sides and the top. i got to put that up in there, but the bugs were getting a little bad yesterday, so just as a precaution last night, I got out this temporary bug net and I just draped it over there. But I got an idea these bugs are gonna they're gonna get pretty bad this trip. I really didn't know how it would work out. You know, I don't spend that much time in the spring in the North Country, and then you compare that last fall was really really dry up here, and I was really hoping that that um, would only start off with a few mosquitoes, but. That doesn't seem to be the case. There's, right now, there seems like there's a, a full batch out there. You step off in the shade in the evening, and it just there's a, there's a lot. I was over yesterday and finally got one of the one more tamarack tree cut down. Going through the woods, we got some more over here, and I'm picking out the biggest ones because want to get some big butt ends for cutting some wide planks for the flooring in the new cabin. The smaller stuff I'll cut up and use it for the roof boards. That's, when we hold it. When we cut the wood a few years ago, I was hesitant about cutting the really big ones because I didn't know if the snow dog would pull it. Well, the snow dog did fine, so I'm not letting any of the big size turn me away this time. And I got a goal. I thought if I go over, if I could cut and peel a tree a day, probably be my goal. I don't want to get hard into it, but it peels so nice this time of year. Now I come over and once it's down and you eyeball it, try to figure out where I want to make my cuts for my different length logs because sometimes there's a little bit of a turn in it or whatever. So I'll check this out, see, see what I get here. I'd really like to have a 14 and a halves, I think would be a 15 would be long enough for the floor or it'll be a little shorter. I can use them for the roof boards, but this is 16 to here, so I'm in good shape. Still get a probably one more down this way. I'm not too far from the cabin, so as I go back and forth here, I'll take the, the smaller diameter tops, cut them up into some good firewood. Tamarack is really a good hard, a lot of heat in tamarack.
the North Beaver Dam. This is just 400 meters north of the cabin. Now, I first look at it, and it must have some major leaks because the water's way down. Got a camera further over. I'll, that's where the exit is. We'll see how big of a hole there is. This trail cam's been hanging here since we left in the early days of March. So it's always interesting to look and see what I have. Obviously, looks like there's going to be a little bit of a tilt to any picture we do have. No results from that camera this time. The batteries had gone dead and the small card was full with nothing to report. Wow. Snow was so deep last March when Jim and I were hauling those big rocks out here that these were underneath and we never even knew it. We missed some. One of the things I brought in today on that second load was Came and partner Jim had picked up this additional solar panels for our for our array up here. Now this is a more modern set. Those are at least a decade old, 15 years old. That whole set up there is 105 watts. And when I put up these three pieces, it'll add 100 watt more. So we don't need it this time of year, but in the dead of winter when the sun is so low and doesn't last very long, it would be handy to have the extra capacity. Again, they're just, it's a Harbor Freight set. Had good luck in the past. Like plug and play. This loud call is a great crested flycatcher. There's two of them out here. I'm trying to get a get a shot of them, but they're just a little bit too far away. 